I'm 43 years old. I live in Detroit, Michigan, and I'm addicted to eating cat hair. Eating your cat hair? I I'm afraid this MS cat can go bald. Just chewing it is relaxing. It's a comforting feeling. All right, people have their interests, but this? This is a bit different. Like, you can just go up to someone. Yeah, my free time, I like grooming my cat. I like licking her all up, paws, but like... My sister told me she was eating cat hair. I was shocked. It is strange. I don't think she should be eating it. Oh, this girl's name is Andromeda, bro. I just imagine it. Congratulations, you had your first kid. What are you going to name her? Hmm. Andromeda. Bro, she's not a robot. 15 years ago, Lisa began eating cat hair as a way to feel closer to her pets. 15 years? I'm surprised this lady's cat don't look like your beerus, bro. That she can't go two hours without a fix. What's bro? A fix of cat hair? Y'all got like a whole like nice like, like little plate for this? I kind of look at it and make sure it's relatively clean and just cat fur. I'll kind of break it apart and then just put it in my mouth. Bro, it's cat fur. Either way, it is not going to be healthy. I don't even got to comment on this. I just want y'all to think about how that is a literal 3.2 thousand hairballs since her addiction. But I just want y'all to think about that. Just think about that for like a deep few moments. Okay? Now, I've realized how absolutely disgusting that is. Groom my cat with my tongue like a mama cat would do to her kitten. Are you my good girl? Okay, so not only does she eat her cat's fur, she grooms it too? Bro, next thing you know, she's gonna start carrying that thing in her mouth like lions do. Despite her love for cat hair, Lisa has only revealed her obsession to one person, her sister. Does it bother you when I do this? No, nah, bro, I'm completely fine with it. I would say to anybody that says, eating cat hair and grooming your cat is crazy. Okay, whatever. It's not bad. I'm not hurting anybody. Bro, ain't it hurting you, though? Anyways, anyways, skip forward a couple minutes, and then basically she's going to confront some person, like, tell them about it, so... I guess that's a good thing. Do you plan on cutting back maybe? No, no, I don't plan on changing anything. Just when I thought she was changing for the better. Have you ever experienced any kind of blockage or stomach pains? I don't have any pain. Everything goes through just fine. You will soon though. Never notice any other maybe acute symptoms that might come on and maybe you haven't related it to the cat fur. I think I would notice if I felt crappy, and I don't, I feel good. I think I'll see as time goes on, as I ingest more of it, what happens. My main concern is just your health, and that this isn't affecting you, firstly, in any way. I just want to make sure that you see some kind of health care. I will definitely take that under advisement. Whoa, you saved a cat's life. Technically yours too. Well, watch, now she's gonna be like, <laughs> psych. Got your own. And get what I know already confirmed that this is okay, this isn't affecting me, so I'll go and do it. You expect the doctor to be like, oh yeah, we may have noted all those like horrible side effects, but like, <laughs> you're good. Trust me, you're fine. Okay, thank you. I do appreciate her concern, so that's why I'm going to go see the doctor. But I am going to keep eating cat fur because I love doing it. You think you love doing it is a good excuse to give yourself, like, horrible, like, side effects? Like, it, like that's like the police pulling up on, like, some, like, murder. The murderer being like, but I love doing it. And then the police being like, oh, he loves doing it, guys. We can't. Lisa is convinced there are no negative effects. But she has agreed to see a doctor to ease her sister's worries. How frequently do you ingest the hair? About every day. And any pain in your stomach at all? No, not okay. at all. And how about your bowel movements? Have they been regular? Perfectly normal. Let me just uh, examine you real quick and then we will take you upstairs for an x-ray exam of your stomach. Okay. I bet you there's going to be something horribly wrong with your stomach. Like they just look at it and they're just a giant clump of cat for like enough to just make like an entire cat. There are a lot of long-term problems that can develop from this condition. 
like having GI bleed from developing an ulcer or they can be a rupture of the intestine or the stomach which is a life-threatening condition. And this is a, a shot that shows the entire shape of your stomach. I don't see any evidence of any accumulation of any foreign uh, material in your stomach at this point. Okay. Let me show you a picture of what uh, someone's stomach looks like when they have ingested a large amount of hair. They have. Put up, put up. I was right. Let's run it back. I bet you there's going to be something horribly wrong with their stomach. Like, they just look at it and they're just a giant clump of cat for, like, enough to just make, like, an entire cat. Have all this hair that they have eaten over the course of years that gets digested partly by the acid in the stomach that becomes a big solidified structure and this is what we call a bezoar. That is so gross that I seriously want to just throw up right now. If you were to get at this point you can even have a rupture of your bowel that's a very serious condition. Look at this face of pure shock like actually believe it or not consuming thousands of pieces of cat hair, believe it or not, bro. You're not going to believe me when I say this, but it's not very good for you, bro. I know, I know. Uh, shocking. I'm a genius figuring this out. That requires surgical intervention. Wow. I strongly recommend that you try to avoid this habit in future. That is freaking me out. I, I can't promise that I'll stop, but it certainly gave me something to think about. We should just give up on this lady because how does this image not convince her to just give up on this? The possibility of a bezoar is very frightening, but at this point I have no intention of giving it up. I am pretty confident that since there was no accumulation right now, I think it'll just remain that way. So they're really just going to stop it off at, despite the doctor's comments, Lisa's addiction still continues. Like, they're just going to let that happen at this point? Like, I'd get it. I'd give up too. But if I was a doctor, that's different. I'm just a random kid. But, like, you're going to, like, send someone? Give her medicine? Like, come on, bro. Bro, and remember, guys, for each 50 likes, I will get 50 likes.